Hello. For uh, I did picked up one of your problems. Um, there we go. And under chapter nine on the home screen, you want to open up hypothesis testing for mean, and this will come up. And then I took your data points and I typed them right here so that we can find the sample mean and standard deviation. But all I did was type 69, 68, 64.3 right here. And then you want to fill in these squares and all the other answers come out for you. So our sample size, I think it, it yeah, sample size 10. So 10. The population mean comes from your null hypothesis at 65. Then to find sample mean, click on the square to put it in and put equals. And mean is the same as average. And the second one down is average. So you double click it and then you highlight your numbers and hit enter. And there's your mean. Same thing for the standard deviation. You put equals, type ST for standard deviation, and you want the sample size, not the P, that's population. So we want the third one, sample size. And double click it, highlight your data, and hit enter. And that's your standard deviation. Wait, I think I hit something wrong. Alpha's 0 0.05. Standard deviation doesn't look right. State the standard error of the sample. Oh, they want the standard error. Okay, so this is the standard deviation. I'll show you how to find the sample standard error. But for this, you need the standard deviation. And your alpha, which was 5%, so 0 0.05. And then it gives you your T value, which is D, and your P value. Now to decide your P value, because there's three of them here, when you look over here, there's not equal to. That would be two-tailed. There's less than, and that would be left tail. Greater than points to the right. It's a right tail. So use the middle one because it says right tail. And that's where they get the 0 0.0176. So our p-value is 0 0.0176. If the p-value is less than alpha, our p-value was this. Alpha is 0 0.05. So this is less than 0 0.05. I must have hit a negative. Since it's less than 0.05, you reject the null hypothesis. And that's why they reject. Now for standard error, you still do the equal to the standard deviation. And double click it. Highlight the data. And close your parenthesis. And then you need to divide by the square root of n. So you type square root sq, and it comes up. And our sample size is 10. It just did that because I didn't close the parentheses. But there's your 2.8027. So for standard deviation, you just use standard deviation S for sample. And then for this one, you use the same thing, but then you have to divide by the square root. And you could have typed in 10 or clicked where the sample size is. Why is that not? 